Welcome to Simply Cooking with Jed. Today with me, Liz Wisman from Heart FM. Liz, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So Liz, tell us what you do on the, on the, on the radio show. Well, I am uh, the morning co-host with John Harada. So early mornings for me every day, I start work at 4.30. 4.30. We start work at 4.30. Wow. We're on the air for about 5.30 myself. And, you know, that's my lifestyle. And, you know, do the, do the daily news and, uh, you know, all the community events and just uh, can keep it's people up to date on what's happening in Oxford County. It's good to put a face to, to, to your voice. I know, and I usually get, wow, you look nothing like I thought you would have, <laughs> which I don't know what that's supposed to mean, and I don't know how to take that. I don't know if I should it's take a that as a compliment or not, but... <laughs> Hey, you know, I'll take it for whatever it is. I often get the kind of, you look so much younger than what I thought you would be. And I, I say, hey, that's good. If I look younger, I'm all for that. <laughs> well, Liz, and I really appreciate you listening to your show on the way to, uh, into work. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah, you brought some great information. And talk, you talk about eating healthy and, uh, and the importance of that. And well, I enjoy what I do. I've uh, been in Woodstock my entire life, born and raised here. So it's great to work for uh, my community that's uh, done a lot for me over the years. So I love what I do. Good, good. That's, that's really important, right? Definitely. Got a so job. today we're going to make some uh, chicken and asparagus. Is, is that something that you like? Mm -hmm. You, you say you're delicious. a picky eater. I am a picky eater. I'm very bad. I, 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 I have a husband at home who will attest for everything that I am a picky eater. Have you tried goat <laughs> cheese before? I have had goat cheese before and I actually do enjoy it. Okay, good. Now, so we're going to stuff the chicken breast with asparagus and goat cheese today. Perfect. And then make a nice salad and um, with a spring mix, tomatoes and cucumbers. It's all lo local products here, and all these ingredients are pro provided by Foodland. And, um, and then we're going to cut up this asparagus and stuff it in, wrap it up, and just lightly grill it, and then uh, put some sauce over it and make the uh, salad. How's that sound? Sounds delicious. And we're going to have dessert. We're going to have uh, pine grilled pineapple and ice cream. Ooh, and love some ice very cream. simple, straightforward dessert. There we go. So when we come back, We'll stuff some chicken breasts with goat cheese and asparagus, and we'll make some salad out. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Simply Cooking with Jed. Today with me, Liz Wisma from Heart FM, radio talk host, uh, uh, show, radio show talk host. Post talk, talk host. <laughs> okay. Radio host. <laughs> Radio host. All right. <laughs> so, Liz is going to break up some asparagus for me, and then we're going to fillet some uh, chicken breast. And um, we're going to wrap it up, stuff it with the goat cheese. I'm just trimming off some of the fat here. That's not too good for you. Okay, just going to fillet it then. So we can stuff it, wrap it up with uh, um, goat cheese and asparagus, all right? So now we don't want to fillet it too, too thick, all right? This is about, about a quarter inch, I would say, about half an mm. inch, okay? And then put some goat cheese in there. And just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now this goat cheese is actually flavored with uh, um, a little bit of garlic and herb, okay? So what we do is we'll take one of these, a couple of these, Right, just wrap it up, just like that. That's pretty good. Right, okay. you want to try one of these? Maybe. <laughs> See if I can. You are speechless. I, I'm that concentrating. Is, that is, that I'm is concentrating. pretty rare. Concentrating. Yeah, I know. You it's always have such a smart uh, remark on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to cooking, I don't try to uh, act like I know what I'm doing too much because. Uh, I have to admit, well, I, I, I let my husband look this. after this. That's so why he was so excited about me coming on the show, is because he <laughs> said maybe he'll start cooking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to stuff it with uh, goat cheese. Just, just like that. Just wrap it up. Wow, look at that. Now, I'm going to let you try the next one. I'm going to fillet it for you. Perfect. Trim up the fat. Always use a parm when you're filleting the chicken breast. All right. There we go. We'll make a couple of bigger ones there. Okay. So just put a little bit of goat cheese in there. Okay. All right. Go for it. And then a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Yeah, salt and pepper. Pepper. And 
couple of salt. There we go. See, you can do it. There we go. <laughs> All right. So oh, we got one that's kind of uh, yeah, we can just shove taking a, a trip bit. out. There you go. We can stop that one too. Okay. Salt, pepper, salt. Should now be this more is goat cheese than that, or no? That's fine. That's, that's good. Good. So chicken breast is low fat. Yes. And it's high in protein, so it's it's good. And this is quick for you to do if you want to impress your guests uh, coming over for okay, all for lunch. Place. This is. Uh, we want this off. Perfect, there you go. thank you. All right, so we're going to fire up this uh, stove here. And uh, to about medium high. Okay. The kitchen is provided by Sears. Donate the kitchen, uh, the stove, and the fridge. And Alan Lumber built the, uh, the countertop. Isn't that amazing? That's fantastic. Yeah. This is a, a nice looking kitchen by far. Yeah. So a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And then we're going to sear this and then pop it into the oven at 325 for about 10 minutes. So just quickly sear the outside, you seal the juice inside. Okay. And then we'll just pop the whole thing into the oven with the handle on because this is uh, oven proof. All right. So, and then we can cook it and then we'll make the salad and pop this on top of the salad. All right. So when we come back, we'll cook this chicken up. And with me, Liz Wisma, thank you. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to Simply Cooking with Jed. Today cooking with me is Liz Wismer from Heart FN. Liz, we're going to do, we'll heat up some pan here. So we're going to sear the chicken. Now don't be afraid, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's not going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you, you asked before, um, during the break, you said, how, how is it going to stay, uh, stay together? Uh, we're going to put the joint part down. Okay. Okay. And we're going to sear that first so that will Seal it. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. Okay. So once we seal the juice, uh, uh, sear, sear, the, sear the meat, the juice will be sealed inside. So that's how you get chicken, get a nice, um, juicy uh, uh, chicken breast. Because chicken breast, if we overcook it, can be really dry. Yeah, it dries out really yeah. easily, yeah. So, this will not be dry. This will be nice and juicy today. You see that? How quickly it's cooking up? Yeah, for sure. So you do, you do not want to overcook it. Okay? We're just going to quickly sear the outside. Look at that. It's staying together quite well, isn't it? Oh, I covered that one. Do right. that. Now, once we sear it, it will stay in shape. And then we're going to pop the whole thing into the oven. And that's perfect. Okay? So it's just browned. Just brown the outside. Oh. Okay. There's too many of them in the party right now. Yeah. Well, it's a crowded so, house. Yeah, it's going to pop it right into the, in, into the oven. Oh, so you leave it right in the pan then? Right in the pan, yes. Perfect. And that's going to cook it up. And then we'll turn off the stove here. Give it a wait. All right. So now we're going to make up some uh, uh, salad for the, uh, to go with the chicken. Okay. So I have some spring mix here. Our spring mix is just a bunch of uh, um, different greens, leafy greens. Okay. And then cucumber. Now I'm just going to show you a little trick on how to cut the that's scary to me. Scary? Ouch! No, just that's kidding. Just, yeah, it's just how fast you go. That's just okay, crazy just gonna, to me. We're just going to cook a little, <laughs> little bit of uh, um, tomatoes here. Okay, just wedges. Cut the stem off. All right. So do you do a lot of cooking at home? Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I let my husband do more of the cooking. He, he actually... He's the one that likes to try different things. Yeah. You know, as I said, I'm a picky eater, so sometimes I don't venture out far for trying new things. So he, uh, he's the one that forces me to because he cooks it. And if well, I want my kids to eat it, I've got to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So we're just going to season with a little bit of pepper here. Perfect. Okay. 
and a little bit of salt. Now I've got some really nice balsamic vinegar here, okay, and olive oil. So what we're going to do, we're just going to toss it up. Okay. Got a little bowl here, a big bowl here. As I say, that's not so little. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm just going to use my hand here. So, put that in there. It's actually a, just glaze it with a little bit of balsamic and olive oil. Now, olive oil is your best friend, right? It's good, it's good for your health. It's been used a lot in the, uh, now, get this away. Toss it up. Now this is a nice quick salad. Mm -hmm. it smells good. All right. So now while while you're preparing this, um, the chicken is cooking away in there. Yes. Do not overcook it. Okay. Once we sear it, pop it in the oven, about no more than five minutes. And what do you have the heat at again? Is that's 350. 350. Okay. So when we come back from the break. We're going to bring out the chicken, just slice it, you see the nice moist goat cheese in there, melting through with the uh, asparagus. Sounds so good. we'll serve up mm -hmm. the asparagus stuff, goat cheese, chicken. All right. <laughs> so we'll be back in a few minutes after the break and we'll serve up some chicken stuff with goat cheese and asparagus. to Simply Cooking with Jed today with me and Liz Wisman from Heart FM. So we make some chicken stuff with asparagus and goat cheese. Now we're going to grab that out from the oven and then let it rest. Now it's pretty hot. Okay. All right. So we're going to let that rest. You'll, you'll continue to cook there, okay? okay. So now we've got a salad ready. So now we're going to make a simple dessert. Sounds good. Okay. So we're going to cut up some fresh pineapple. Now this is the way to cut up the pineapple. Have you ever cut one up before? I have never cut up pineapple. <laughs> All right. So be that, be that a record on, on, the, on the show. Liz has never cut up a pineapple. I know. So I always have to buy them cut for me because <laughs> I've never learned how to properly do it. So here we go. Now, Liz, this is a very high vitamin uh, fruit that you can get um, at the store here. Now tell us the importance of eating healthy. Well, I mean, off the bat, I mean, eating healthy, there's some of the major aspects off the top are you're avoiding heart and uh, stroke issues. Right. And uh, it's also a great way for, uh, for beating cancer. I mean, they say that uh, healthy eating is one of the major factors to help battle uh, cancer or even uh, for people that are battling cancer in time, you can help to fight against it and to help fight it while you are battling, uh, wow. while you are battling with cancer. There's many aspects to health benefits to eating healthy, but uh, you know, for those ones, major issues that uh, we as Canadians especially face these days, heart, stroke, and cancer, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So eating healthy is one of the first and easy ways that you can yeah. help to fight against them. No, it doesn't mean that when you eat healthy, you have to eat, um, it does not taste it. You can eat really good, healthy, tasty food, right? Oh, and, and yeah. you know what, it's great for, I mean, when you're snacking, I, you know, for the for the type of hours I work, I mean, like I said, I start work at 4.30 in the morning, so I quite often start with breakfast, and then through the morning I will snack, and a lot of times if you look at my uh, my lunch bag, it's vegetables and fruits that I just cut up to snack on through the so day, because small is, snacks also help What is What is that. the kind of breakfast that will wake you up? Uh, quite often if uh, in breakfast I'll either have like a, a yogurt parfait type of thing with fresh fruit, or okay. I'll have uh, uh, cereal and maybe okay. some juice. but. From there, it's some fresh fruit and then vegetables for lunch. Yeah. So I don't know if you're watching this. I just cored uh, mm -hmm. the, the pineapple here. So we're just going to cut it up in, in wedges and then uh, just lightly grill it on, on the pan. And then the sugar in the pineapple is going to caramelize and give it a nice brown color. And then we're going to serve us some ice cream with mm -hmm. it. All right. This is one of my favorite fruits to have. This is something that I eat almost every single day. Is that right? It's by <laughs> cut up fresh pineapple, yes. Okay, so come over here and we see that uh, it's nice and uh, the sugar is going to caramelize. It's is good. it just on a low heat that you would uh, that you would serve Very this on low it? heat, and then uh, you can put it high too if you want, but it doesn't really need to. So you see that nice brown color yep. there? So there's no oil in here, 
just strictly, just strictly grilled. Juice. You can you can do that on on the barbecue as well, and um, the chicken is ready there. So you can even throw some of this on your salad too if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, just give that nice warm kind of a salad, um, and then and then save some for your dessert with the ice cream. Of course, yeah. Okay. Don't ever forget about dessert. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can get low-cal ice cream too, right? No, so, you can, yeah. yeah. And there's sugar-free ice creams for those who uh, might be diabetic. There's, you know, those options for people that are able to go that way. All right. So here, you see the pineapple caramelizing here? All right. And then when that's going, I'm going to take out the chicken. Okay. And we're going to cut it up. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Nice and juicy mm. chicken. Okay. I'm going to serve it up. Right there. Okay. So when we come back, we'll wrap up with the chicken and the whole meal ready for you to go. Sounds good. Right? You're watching Simply Cooking with Jet. We'll be right back after the commercial break. She's simply cooking with Jed today with me, Liz Wesmer from Heart FM. So, Liz, we made some chicken breast stuffed with asparagus mm -hmm. and goat cheese, and that's ready to serve up on the salad here. And nice, healthy, light meal. Okay, and then now uh, for dessert, we have grilled pineapple with ice cream and a drizzle of honey. Now we're just going to put a little bit of this crunchy stuff which is uh, um, egg roll wrap deep fried. This is the only thing that's unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of uh, guilty pleasure. Yeah, exactly. All right. So we're going to get some ice cream out, French vanilla. Let's scoop that on. Okay. okay we're going to get some hot pineapple there. Now, you can drizzle that on, the honey on. Just give it a little bit of that sweetness. Oh, look at that. Yum. Yeah. So, ready to taste? Sounds good to me. So, this salad here, and we've got some nice asparagus. Okay, stuff with the, uh, I'm going to use the, uh, cut the, there we go. Is that how you uh, no. <laughs> feed your guests, is with your... Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Mm. Asparagus is not overcooked. Okay, nice flavor, goat cheese, very simple, okay, nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching Simple Cooking with Jed. More local foods, local produce, and local people like yeah. us, you and I, yeah, okay. on Rogers TV. <laughs> Thank you for watching Simply Cooking with Jed.